Hello and welcome to the second video in a three-part series on going from Blender to Unity. We finished up last time having created a high poly oil barrel and a low poly. Today we'll be covering UV unwrapping our low poly and baking our normal maps. So let's get started. Right click on your low poly to select it and hit tab to enter edit mode. We're going to hold down alt and right click on this edge up here. Press control E and mark seam. We're going to do the same for the bottom, hold down alt, right click on the edge, press ctrl E and mark seam. And we're going to select this edge over here by selecting this top vertice, holding down shift and selecting the bottom one, press ctrl E and mark seam. So this breaks up the separate UV islands as they're called. Now UV islands break the object up into several flat surfaces for the sake of texturing and normal maps. So press A to select everything, U and unwrap. Bring up this bottom window here, and down the bottom left, set it to UV Image Editor. So there we can see we've broken it down into flat surfaces. So we're just going to move these around a little. Hover over this one on the right, press L to select it, G to grab it, move it on the X axis with the X button by 10. G to grab it again on the Y axis by 5. We're going to take the left one here, hover over it and press L, G to grab it, on the x-axis by 5 and g to grab it on the y-axis by 5. So there we go. We're not going to add any margin here because we want the texture to loop around the outside of our barrel. So that's the RUV unwrapping done. The next thing we're going to have to do is create a cage. The way normal mapping works is that rays are cast from the outside of an object like so and any surface that they hit gets normal mapped. However, if objects are concave, like this one I'm drawing over here, the rays won't hit these inside edges, such as this one and this one, and they won't be normal mapped correctly. So what we're going to do is make a cage which will fit around the object, like so, and the rays will be cast from this cage, so they'll hit these surfaces in here and they'll be normal mapped correctly. Now this isn't necessary in the case of our barrel, but for the sake of demonstration, we'll be doing it anyway. So first we're going to triangulate our object here so that it will work in X normal. So tab back into edit mode, press space and type triangulate and hit enter. Then tab back into object mode. If you still have snap settings on, click down here on the magnet to turn them off. Press shift D to duplicate and click to place. M to move it to another layer and I'm going to move it to the one down below. So let's jump over to that layer now and hit tab to edit our new object. Press Alt S to expand the object. And we're going to expand it by 0 0.035. So just type that in. And there we are, tab back into object mode. So as you can see, that is slightly larger than our oops, that is slightly larger than our low poly and it will fit around it nicely. So now we just have to triangulate our high poly and then we can export these. So tab into edit mode, A to select everything, and space, and click on triangulate. And then tab back into object mode. So now we're going to export. So select your high poly, press file, export, and OBJ. We're going to create a new folder on our desktop and call it barrel underscore assets. There we are. And enter it. We're going to call this one barrel underscore high poly. There we are. And down the bottom left, click on selection only and export. Jump over to our low poly and do the same thing. File export OBJ. And we'll call this one barrel underscore high poly. Sorry, barrel underscore low poly. And export. And same for our cage. Right click to select it. File export OBJ barrel underscore cage and export. That's everything we have to do in Blender for now, so we'll jump over to XNormal. Navigate to the barrel assets folder you created and open up XNormal. Now in the high definition meshes tab, we're going to drag in our barrel high poly and drop it in there. In the low definition meshes tab, drag in the barrel underscore low poly and right click on it and hit browse external cage file. Now you want to head back to your barrel assets folder and select the barrel cage. 
Now go down to the Baking Options tab. We're going to choose a sensible name for it, so I'm going to put it in. She will hit on this icon here to browse. We'll put it in that same folder, Barrel Assets. We will create a new folder and call this Barrel underscore Textures. There we are. And we'll choose a file name, Barrel underscore Texture. There we are. And hit Save. Going to set the resolution to 1024 by 1024. However, if you have a slow computer, you might want to set it lower. Down the bottom left, tick Normal Map, Ambient Occlusion, and Cavity Map. And just hit Generate. Let's navigate to our Barrel Textures folder and see how those have come out. So as you can see, those have come out very nicely. In the next video, I'll be covering texturing and putting our object into Unity. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.